Black holes are one of the most fascinating and mysterious objects in the universe. They are incredibly dense regions of space where the gravitational pull is so strong that nothing, not even light, can escape. One of the defining features of a black hole is its event horizon, a boundary beyond which nothing can escape. What exactly is the event horizon? How does it work? And what happens when something crosses it? These questions have intrigued scientists and the public alike for decades, leading to a wealth of research and speculation about the properties and behaviors of black holes. In today's video, we will explore the event horizon of a black hole in detail, examining its unique properties, its role in our understanding of the universe, and the fascinating theoretical concepts that have emerged in connection with it. The event horizon of a black hole is the boundary beyond which nothing, not even light, can escape the gravitational pull of the black hole. It is the point of no return, beyond which gravitational force is so strong that it overcomes all other forces in the universe. Once an object passes the event horizon, it is impossible for it to escape a black hole. The event horizon is not a physical barrier, but a theoretical boundary that marks the point of no return. It's defined by the Schwarzschild radius, which is the distance from the center of the black hole beyond which the escape velocity exceeds the speed of light. The Schwarzschild radius is given by the equation of Rs equals 2gmc2, where g is the gravitational constant, m is the mass of the black hole, and c is the speed of light. The event horizon is a unique feature of black holes that sets them apart from all other objects in the universe. It is the point beyond which nothing can escape the gravitational pull. This means that once an object crosses the event horizon, it is lost forever. It's impossible for anything, including light, to escape the black hole's gravitational pull. Another special feature of the event horizon is that it is a one-way membrane. Anything that falls into a black hole is lost forever and no information about it can be retrieved. This is because the event horizon is a point of no return, beyond which the gravitational pull is so strong that nothing can escape. It is currently impossible to see past the event horizon of a black hole. This is because no information can escape from within the event horizon. So any object that passes the event horizon is lost forever. However, scientists can observe the effects of the black hole on its surroundings, such as the gravitational lensing of light around the black hole and the emission of radiation from material falling into the black hole. In April 2019, the first ever image of a black hole was captured by the Event Horizon Telescope. The image shows the shadow of the black hole against a glowing ring of gas and dust. While the image does not show the event horizon directly, it provides strong evidence for the existence of black holes and their event horizons. Once an object passes the event horizon, it is lost forever. The object is pulled toward the singularity at the center of the black hole, where the gravitational pull is infinite. At the singularity, the laws of physics as we know them break down, and the object is crushed into an infinitely small point of infinite density. This point is called the gravitational singularity. At the singularity, the laws of physics, as we know them, cease to apply. This is because the gravitational pull is so strong that it distorts space and time in ways that are not fully understood. It is currently impossible to observe or study the singularity directly. According to our current understanding of physics, it is impossible for anything to escape the event horizon. Once an object crosses the event horizon, it is lost forever. This is because the gravitational pull of the black hole is so strong that it overcomes all other forces in the universe, including the force of light. However, there is some speculation that black holes may not be entirely black. It is possible that they may emit radiation known as the Hawking radiation. This radiation is thought to be caused by quantum fluctuations of space-time near the event horizon and it could allow small amounts of matter and energy to escape the black hole over very long periods of time. This process is very slow, and it would take an incredibly long time for a black hole to evaporate completely 
through this process. The idea of Hawking radiation was first proposed by physicist Stephen Hawking in 1974. And according to his theory, pairs of virtual particles are constantly being created and destroyed near the event horizon of a black hole. Normally, these particles would quickly annihilate each other and their energy would be lost to the black hole. However, if one of the particles is pulled into the black hole and the other escapes, the escaping particle would carry away some of the black hole's energy. This process would gradually reduce the mass of the black hole over time, causing it to evaporate. The rate at which a black hole emits Hawking radiation depends on its mass. Smaller black holes emit more radiation than larger ones. For a black hole with the mass of the sun, the process would take billions of years. And for a supermassive black hole at the center of a galaxy, it would take trillions of years. However, the process of Hawking radiation is still theoretical and has not been directly observed. This is because radiation emitted by a black hole is incredibly weak and it would be difficult to detect the background radiation of the universe. Nevertheless, the idea of Hawking radiation is an important theoretical concept in our understanding of black holes and their properties. Albert Einstein's theory of special relativity is a fundamental concept that underpins our understanding of the universe. One of the key applications of this theory is that the speed of light is a constant, which means that nothing can travel faster than it. This has important implications for the behavior of black holes as it affects the way in which they interact with their surroundings. In particular, the event horizon of a black hole is intimately connected to Einstein's theory of special relativity. According to this theory, time and space are not separate and distinct, but are intertwined and form a single entity known as space-time. The presence of a massive object, such as a black hole, warps the fabric of space-time, causing it to curve in a way that is determined by the object's mass and the distance from it. This curvature of space-time has important implications for the event horizon of a black hole. At the event horizon, the gravitational pull of the black hole is so strong that it warps space-time to such a degree that the escape velocity, the speed required to break free from that pull, is greater than the speed of light. This means that anything that crosses the event horizon is trapped within the black hole, unable to escape its immense gravitational pull. The connection between the event horizon and special relativity is a testament to the profound impact that Einstein's theory has had on our understanding of the universe. By showing that the fabric of space and time are intimately connected and that the speed of light is an absolute limit, special relativity has provided a foundation for our understanding of black holes and their unique properties, including the event horizon. In conclusion, the event horizon of a black hole is a fascinating and mysterious phenomenon that raises many intriguing questions about the nature of the universe. As we continue to explore the cosmos, one question to consider is, what new insights and discoveries about black holes and their event horizons might we uncover with advanced technology and further exploration in the future? What do you think? Let us know in the comments. And if you're interested in knowing more about black holes, take a look at our video about supermassive black holes that is shown here. We hope you enjoyed today's video. If you liked it, please don't forget to subscribe and press the bell icon. We will meet you soon in a new video.